I just wanted to do one more follow-up video on this because I noticed that I was using my alt key in the previous video when I was editing this rich, te con rich, rich text control. So if you notice, if I click on edit fields, what I had done in the previous video is set the notes to say edit rich text, which provides this uh, ribbon here and text that you can actually edit in a rich text field on SharePoint or any other data source that manages rich text, right? But if you're using your Alt key, what I notice is the Alt key doesn't exactly allow you to do that dynamically. So don't worry about it. Just preview the app, kind of like run the app, and now it works fine. So I can go in here and I can underline this, or I can go in here and say, I can highlight this and put a hyperlink to uh, community powerapps.com, or maybe I'll just do the, the full email address, powerapps.microsoft.com. And you can see that you can put all kinds of link uh, types in here, right? Um, and there you go, right? So that's going to link to, if I click on it or tap on it from my phone, it's going to link to that URL I sent it to. I can also come in here and say, call me at 425-555-1212, kind of copy that number and put it under a uh, phone link, right? And this will enable you to like really actually dial the number um, from the app, right? Do some testing on the format. I think in America, it might be a little different than international, how you should format it, but it's the tell. It formats the tell for you. It'll format an email for you, for instance. Um, so really cool that you have this kind of HTML formatting ribbon, but you won't be able to get it to work like in canvas mode or design mode. You'll have to kind of preview your app or hit F5. So you're either gonna hit this little play button over here, or you're going to go into close the app, save it, and then run it, right, as a consumer. And then this ribbon will work just fine. I just happened to notice in the last video that the Alt key um, wasn't necessarily a good test uh, function, but uh, it works very nicely. And again, all I had to do was change the format because when you generate an app, it will actually set that any um, rich text or, or multi-line text feel to just simply edit text, which shows your div tags. So what you wanna do is you wanna set it to edit rich text. Now I hadn't saved that, that's why it popped up to being back to what it was before. Remember that rich text doesn't get saved until you actually submit the form. And any changes you make here um, while you're in edit mode are not saved. Um, it's kind of resets it back to what's on SharePoint. Okay, I thought I'd give you those couple of tips in case you thought that was a problem. You, you would be past that problem and able to enjoy your new experience. Talk to you soon.